every American should be concerned about what's happening right now. Uh, what is so dangerous about this situation is we have the attorney general essentially weaponizing our federal law enforcement agencies to intimidate and silence the American people to try to silence us into compliance, essentially. The reality is that, as you know very well, whether we disagree or agree with each other, whether our speech is quiet or obnoxious, our, our speech is protected by the First Amendment. It's something that I, as a soldier and as a member of Congress, took an oath to support and defend the Constitution. And I may hate the speech that you say, I may completely disagree with it, but I will lay down my life to protect your right to say it. Well, when you hear so easily in this specific example, the counterterrorism division of our government, the national security branch being invoked to target everyday Americans, to target these parents who, because they care so much for their children, are going and speaking out at these uh, Board of Education meetings. When you see this happening, it should be a, a red flag being waved to every single person about the danger. And that's why it's so important for us to stand up, to speak out, to fight back, to take a stand for our freedoms. Uh, the kind of action that we are seeing from Attorney General Garland, it makes our country look more and more like we're moving to a police state rather than being the land of the free. And so now is not the time to allow them to intimidate us into silence. Now is the time that we, the American people, really must take this stand for each other, for our civil liberties, for our freedoms, because unfortunately those who are in power, those who are supposed to be leading our country, rather than upholding our civil liberties and freedoms, these kinds of actions are violating and infringing upon them. What we're seeing here is about the powerful elite in this country using their power to try to silence and control us.